What's up guys, it's your boy Connor. Today's video, how to load and unload your motorcycle. That's right. Should you be needing a trailer at somewhere, you need to load in the back of your truck or your van. Today, obviously, we're gonna be dealing with the van. It's the same concept with the truck. The only difference is going to be the height and the degree of incline that you are gonna see when loading or unloading your bike. There's tons of videos out there. There's a couple fails where people just gun it, mostly on dirt bikes, they give it and then it just rips. But hopefully that doesn't happen to us here today. It's fairly straightforward. You pretty much just get a ramp, get your vehicle, load your bike up, unload it. Now the tricky thing can be if you've never done this or you're not familiar, you're not practiced enough, it can be a little bit daunting, intimidating, mostly just getting the bike up there if you decide to ride it up just because a lot of times at that angle that your feet where you're fully planted on the ground at a certain incline, it may feel like you don't have any contact and then it starts to tip and you're like, oh, oh no, oh no. But as long as you stay level headed, it also depends on the size of the ramp. I do like, I have a wider ramp than some people. They like to use those dirt bike ramps with just that single track where we used to run that but it was a little thin. I did not feel comfortable loading or unloading my motorcycle whenever it came time to do it. It was one of those, oh, dude, I have to do it, I guess. Oh, I don't want to. I need people to come over just that way. If it tipped, I would have someone there for reassurance that I wasn't gonna dump my bike or it was gonna fall on me. While we were in San Antonio, one of the neighbors saw me with the Z125 getting out of the truck, having a little bit of an issue. And he just said, hey, I have a ramp you can borrow for the weekend while you're going out of town. I said, dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Went ahead and borrowed it. Came back into town. I said, hey, I have your ramp, here you go. He goes, no, you know what? I don't even use it, you can have it. So we've been running it, thank you so much, Tom. Much appreciated, it goes into so much use, especially paired, paired with the van. We load and unload our bikes and there makes it such a breeze. Also because the loading dock of the van is much lower than what even those smaller pickups are. But moving on, I digress. Now, one of the methods that people do use is going to be where they grab their motorcycle and they'll just simply walk it up the ramp, similar to how I'm standing, where they just go and walk it up. And once it hits that incline, they just keep on walking or they do a running start. Oh, I got to load it up. I got to load it up. I need a running start. And they'll hit the ramp, boom, boom. I just personally like to ride it. That's what works best for me. I have no issues. Again, it's also because I do have a wider ramp and it's less of an incline. So I feel comfortable doing that. Now, if that were the case, on a truck. I remember when James and I went to Las Vegas for the drag special dealer ride. Thank you to Memphis Shades as well as James. I can never be thankful enough for that. That loading it into his truck was pretty sketch because he had stock height Dodge Ram, but it was a pretty steep incline. So I was just like giving it gas. Like, oh, dude, this is so sketch. And I felt like it was wilding everywhere. But unloading it was probably even sketchier because it was raining the day, the day we were doing it. I had to get home. But essentially, it was the same thing where I was working the brake and it was still sliding. So like, oh no, dude. And then he was the one who told me about the clutch where you pop it into first. So that way, if it feels like it's slipping, you just simply let the clutch out and let it lock. And that way your bike doesn't move. But at that point, it feels like you're gonna go every which way because the ramp is just wide enough if you get it centered to put your feet right next to the bike and go from there. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and load the bike into the van. I always prefer to open up the side door. Some people, it's just preference. That way I can let a nice breeze through because it gets pretty, pretty smothered in there. And then obviously open the rear door. Cool thing about the van is you can open it and it locks in this position. That way you just have a whole lot of room to mess with without the door being in your way. Pull out the ramp. So this is the ramp that my neighbor gave me, Tom. And I do like it because it's so wide pretty much. Essentially I just put the Front tire here in the center, ride it up, it's perfect. Boom, done and done. But the only downside is that this is heavy, one, and two, it does not collapse and make itself smaller. It'd be cool if it could be cut in the middle in half, add some hinges, we may do that, may not. Or some of the ones I've seen from discount ramps. I think it's the ultra wide where it's three different ramps and you put one on, then you put the center and you put the third and then it locks with this little clamping system here, pretty much several ways throughout the entirety of the ramp on both sides. And so then you have a solid one piece out of three pieces and then to break it down, same thing. And they fold in the middle as well. So that way you can utilize this ramp and store it and it not take as much space as this does like it did for Born Free, where with the three bikes, we had Jacob's Dyna, my Dyna, and here in the middle was Cody's, was Cody's Sportster. And there was no place for this long ramp because it would not fit on the side 
We could put it above the wheel well, but it wasn't secured enough to where if we hit a bump or a turn heavy enough, it may fall onto the bikes. Either one, I don't want to scratch anyone's bike. So we just decided to leave it and picked one up at Tractor Supply. <laughs> Like, whoa, bro, how am I supposed to get up there? It seems a little straightforward. Some people like to line it up. Go ahead and line it up and then just figure out your plan of attack. You don't want to be halfway up and be like, oh, dude, I didn't want to do this. Now, one of the things I want to note, now you're going to want to secure the ramp to the vehicle because there are some videos where it shows some people hitting the ramp at higher speeds, hit it, and then it flips and does something and it loses itself. Or if you're at the top and you just need that extra little push and then say you give it gas and then it kicks the ramp from under you, now you're pretty much stuck with the tire falling on the bumper and then it's like audio's bike is going to fall. And that's all we do. And then we keep it in gear as we line it up so that way it locks up right there more or less without that much room to jump. And so from that point all you do is just grab your harnesses, tie it to the forks, secure everything and the way we have the ramp we like to run it on the side where you have those green straps along that wall and it does a perfectly fine job and that's the bike loaded up. So just like that, it was easy to load it. If you have some reservations or a little timid on loading it up by yourself, whether it be a high truck or just a sketchy ramp, go ahead and call a friend, have them come over. At best, they can just kind of hang out, you know, but they're there just to kind of give you a little more support. Now what we're gonna do is we've arrived to our destination. One of the things that you can do is you can find a hill if there is one and back it up so that way the ramp is more level. But what we have is just a regular ramp, just inclined. I do like this van because it has a lower tailgate area to where it's not that much of an incline and I feel comfortable riding it up. Now, I don't walk it down. We talked about it earlier. I just like to ride, I'm comfortable with that. On some of the lower bikes, you may scrape a little bit. So at that point, when you're on the ramp, you may wanna lift up a little bit so that way your weight is not on the bike itself. But let's go ahead and get to it. We're gonna unstrap it and get it going. unloading your bike and we push it to where we want to stage it oh hey what's up man how you doing pretty lady <laughs> and just like that your bike is now unloaded now you can go enjoy the wonders of wherever you're going round two That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If y'all like what you saw, be sure and like, comment, what? No. What's up, guys? That's gonna do it for the end of the video. If you like what you saw, be sure and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and be sure and hit that bell next to it to be notified when future videos come. Drop a comment down below, and until then, catch you in the next one.